they hurt. Plays hurt to get made. You really have to put yourself in them. You have to find things in them. Some of the things that are necessary to find really kind of hurt to happen. Okay, you have to imagine myself as a 14-year-old guy being sent to my uncle's farm to learn how to be a man. I'm there and told that if I clean out the pig pens one day, my aunt has an extra ticket to the Stratford Festival, which is still in a tent. I work all day, hard, sweaty, smelly work, spend an hour rubbing that stink off my body and go and see the Merchant of Venice. I can recite maybe 200 of those lines to this day from that experience. Paul wouldn't consider himself, I don't think, a traditional director in any sense. His idea was, why don't we do stuff about us? Why don't we do theater about what is surrounding us and who we are? Paul always talks in metaphors. He sees the world in metaphors. But that allows for great flexibility for other people to find out their own metaphors and creativity. He trained in Paris, France, honed his craft at Stratford with all these great, you know, British-influenced directors, but he was able to change direction and take a risk the whole alternative thing came out of that experience of wanting to join, wanting to belong, but the, the price was too high. If you go and you give your best shot at something and nobody seems to notice, then maybe you're not in the right place. And maybe you have to go and dig you know, somewhere else. You know, it's, it's great that, you know, I'm being celebrated for, you know, surviving 40 years in the theater world of Canada. But the really important thing is the ongoing stuff that is happening. As an artist and a citizen, you have an essential obligation to actually continue the dialogue about how this place can be better and continue.